Now, I've done a lot of videos talking about video editing and how you guys can become a better video editor yourselves, but I never really talked about the hardware that allows you to have that smooth video editing experience. So today I bring to you the best video editing PC build for around $600. So let's get started. Now having a PC budget build like this one requires of a lot of planning and a lot of budgeting in order to make sure you have a well balanced PC build in order to experience a smooth video editing and even photo editing experience and overall content creation. And quick disclaimer, I don't own all the parts that I'm going to be listing in today's video, but I've done extensive research in order to provide the best PC parts for this particular build for the best value. Now I will have all the links to every single part that I'm going to be talking about in today's video just in case you guys want to check these parts out. Now starting with our processor, which is the AMD Ryzen 5 2600. Now this has 6 cores and 12 threads, which is really good for multimedia production, either if you're streaming, gaming, or even video editing, which is really good as it can handle more. Now the base clock of this CPU is a 3.4 GHz, but the mass boost clock can go up to 3.9 GHz. Now the current price for this CPU is about $141, however you guys can also choose the 1600 version as well as the 3600 version if you guys want to put that little bit more upgrade. Now all of these have 6 cores and 12 threads but I really recommend using the 2600 even though there's a new series out there. And the main reason I didn't go with a Intel CPU is because of the value compared to the pricing of the other kind of CPU that Intel actually offers. So I do recommend using the Ryzen 5 2600 CPU for the best value for the best price. Next for the motherboard we're gonna go with the ASRock B450M Pro 4. Now this is a micro ATX AMD motherboard and it has four memory slots available as well with a DDR4 memory and one feature that I really like about this motherboard is that you guys can actually upgrade the CPU to a third gen Ryzen so if you guys want to upgrade your CPU later down in the future if you save up some more money you can do that as well so you guys can upgrade the CPU in this motherboard with a BIOS update now there are different options out there but one of the main reasons I chose this was because you guys can upgrade it later in the future and it has four slots of memory RAM available that you guys can take advantage advantage of. Now this motherboard is priced at $108 so if you guys want to pick this one up the link will be in the description as well. Now for the RAM I chose to go with the Patriot Viper 4 Blackout series which is basically two 4 gig sticks making a total of 8 gigabytes which can run at 3000 megahertz out of the box which is really good since it has a high frequency that works really well with the AMD build. Now the first piece I want to tell you that you guys can upgrade on your PC would be the RAM. Now there is a different version with two 8 gigabytes RAM sticks which in total comes to 16 gigabytes that also runs at 3000 megahertz out of the box but this comes around at a higher price so if you guys want to stick with the 8 gigs that these RAM sticks offer this will come around at $42 now if you want to upgrade this will come at $67 but you will also be getting more memory available now before I move on I want to give a shout out to designs AI for partnering up with me for today's video now you guys know that I'll make a lot of video editing and graphic design tutorials overall content creation tutorials to help you guys out. Now this is where Designs AI come into play. Designs AI is basically an online platform that uses AI technology to make designs accessible to everyone. These tools can help you guys create stunning graphics, even videos and personalized logos, and much more in just half the time. And Designs AI is actually responsible for many online products that we have used before, including Pixlr, which I've showed you guys how to use in the past. So if you guys want to get started in practicing your content creation for branding, well, I'll have a link in the description where you guys can click on it and it will take you to the exact same website where you can sign up and start creating your own branding. So a shout out to Designs AI for making this possible. Now back to the video. Now moving on to the graphics card I decided to go with the XFX RX 570 which comes from Radeon with the 8 gigabytes of VRAM. Now this is a really good graphics card especially for 1080p gaming. Now if you're into gaming this will do more than enough for you. Now in terms of video editing graphics card is not the primary thing when it comes to video editing it's more of a CPU you think but is a really good addition to add a good graphics card if you guys are doing some sort of gaming or high graphic intensity projects either if it's for streaming or even recording which I do sometimes need so having this option of having this graphics card is really good as I know it's really mainstream for its purpose and its pricing comes around at $143 now there are different options like I said you guys can basically choose to have a cheaper alternative version or if you have a more of a bigger budget you guys can upgrade these parts 
along the way. Now moving on to the SSD, which I chose to go with the PNY 500GB SSD, which basically meets the basic requirements of this $500 budget PC build. It has 500GB, which is more than enough, and it's basically really compatible with the motherboard that we chosen, and you guys can basically upgrade it down the line if you guys want to have more storage. Now you can go with the SSD or just a simple hard drive, but I really recommend this one. And this is around $54, as we know the prices on Amazon tends to fluctuate a lot, especially around this time. But if you guys are more satisfied with a lower gigabyte count for a cheaper price, you guys can go with the various options that they offer. And the same thing if you guys want to upgrade it a little bit. Now for the power supply, we're just going to go with the Thermaltake Smart 500 watt power supply, which should be more than enough in order to power your PC build. Now this comes around at $50, but you guys can put whatever configurations you guys want in. It's just a standard power supply for now. And finally for our case, now there's different types of cases out there, especially for a micro ATX build. But for now, you guys can pick basically what case you guys want to. There's many options. One of my personal options is a Thermaltake Versa H18 with a tempered glass side and a mesh front, which is really good for airflow when it comes to air cooling this PC as it will have to run on fans and the mesh front will actually help with that quite significantly. Now there are other cases out there going for different prices, such as the NZXT H510 and even the Cooler Master case all ranging from different prices so it's basically your kind of personal preference just make sure it's a micro atx pc case in order to fit all the components out properly and for a really good option for cable management now by combining all the prices of these parts this build will come around at 597 dollars however you guys may also have to invest more when it comes to the fans of your choice when you're adding it to your case as well as the windows operating system you will have to apply onto your pc build now you guys always know that these prices always fluctuate especially on Amazon as some may decrease or increase depending on what period of time you're looking for these parts. Now this is the current pricing but if anything changes I will update these prices along the way as well. Now like I said before I don't really own every single one of these parts but I did do extensive research when it comes to the best components and compatibility when it comes to having this PC build especially for content creation such as video editing, photo editing, and even occasional streaming and gaming. So this is basically the foundation of having a good content creation or productivity PC build. Now, if you guys have any other suggestions for different builds you guys would want to see in the future, let me know down in the comments. So I hope this PC build guide really helped you guys explore different parts in order to create the best PC build for this budget price, which I do believe every single one of these parts will contribute to you guys having a better video editing experience and overall content creation, whatever you guys want to do with this PC build. But that's pretty much it for today's video. I want to give a shout out to Designs AI for partnering up with me for today's video. If you guys want to check out their services and start your own personal branding, either for logos, graphic designs, and even video making, go check their website out. Their link will be in the description along with every part that I mentioned in today's PC build. But that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.